This video is about Google Docs. Hello and welcome to my channel Infinite Learnopedia. Let's get started with the video. Let's first download Google Docs from Play Store. Click on Play Store option. Type Google Docs. So this is Google Docs. Click on install option to install Google Docs. Here I have already installed and here update option is available so I will update it. It takes few seconds as you can see and it is downloaded. After installation open the app. So this is my Google Docs. From the right top corner, you can see my icon, account icon. Through that icon, you can switch between accounts you want to use. And there is option to add another account. To the left top corner, there are different options such as recent, shared with me, starred, offline trash and others. So these are my last opened files as I'm using Google Docs. So these are all my documents. If you are new to this, your Google Docs will be empty. Towards the rightmost corner, click on the plus sign to add a document. So first option is to choose template. Click on to choose template. Different Templates are available. There is a variety of templates like resumes, letters, education, work and such others. If you want to work with this topic, you can choose this. If you want to choose blank, click on new document. To the left topmost corner tick sign through that I saved my unsaved document click on the untitled document I, I will type title type title and click on ok now this is the area where you can work in Google Docs. You can type your passages, your text, you can insert images, pictures from your mobile, from web, as well as you can even add tables in Google Docs on mobile. Google Docs is one of the application available by Google and it is one of the word processing application like Microsoft Word. So it is similar to Microsoft Word application. Click on the edit sign to the right most bottom pencil icon. Here you can type your text. Type your text. Below is the tab where all formatting options are available. Press the cursor blinking. You will find different options cut, copy, paste, select all, 
further you will find insert link click select all to select the text after selecting you can again perform operations like cut copy paste and other options you can apply bold italic underline formatting you can apply any formatting next is text color option choose text color so when you choose a particular color more colors under that color is available to save the changes to the left top corner click on the tick sign changes are saved next again to edit click on the pencil icon different alignments are available left right center and justify bullets option is available this is the first option and numbering system is also available next is page indent option left right to the top is undo and redo option then third option is formatting option where there are two types of formatting text and paragraph under text bold italic underline strike through superscript and subscript is available next is style option with different styles font size to increase and decrease text color highlight color and last is clear formatting which removes all the applied formatting next is paragraph which contains alignments page indent bullets and line spacing next fourth is plus sign where you can insert link comment image table and other options through link you can add link with the help of comment you can add comment to add image click on image there are three options available from photos from camera from web let's add from web click on image and click insert next is table option to add table choose number of columns and rows here i will choose two columns and three rows click insert to insert the table type text into table you can scroll up and down add your text next is horizontal line click on horizontal line to add the line
next under horizontal line next option is page break you can break the page next is page number page number is same as header type your header that is page number next is footnote footnote is same as footer type your foot note or footer click on the left top tick option to save as we are now using google docs on mobile in mobile we need to save it to save you can see to the left top corner is the tick option with the help of tick option you can save your changes when you use it on computers there is no need to save as it is automatically saved in your drive So these are all the options we can add link comment images tables horizontal line page break header and footer different formatting options are available here to the right topmost corner the three dots more option there are more option which you can use in google docs now let's understand more options which we can use in google docs on mobile first is print layout then suggest changes document outline you can use find and replace word count you can share this file and export there are add-ons available move option you can make it available offline you can star your document and you can know details of your document that is what type of document it is location of the document when it is created and when it is modified and you can even see the access with whom you have shared the access if you want to work again on your document for example here i want to work on demo one click and open the document to use next is the three dots click on the three dots here you can add your document to start you can share it you can manage with people and links you can make it available offline there are details available of the document you can copy link you can send a copy you can make a copy you can download it in document format that is in word format you can rename it and there are and there are other options also available last is the remove that is delete option this is all about google docs on mobile phone google docs is very helpful on mobile you can easily access and work with text paragraph tables images and many more this video will definitely help you to learn about google docs on mobile this app is similar to Microsoft Word. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button, like my video and share with your friends. And let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.